Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're gonna be looking at what's the speed of your or my hard drive. How can you determine the speed of that drive? And is it worth upgrading from a mechanical drive to a solid state drive? Now I see a lot of people posting videos on uh, super, uh, super boosting the speed of your computer by doing registry tweaks. Well, let me tell you, if you wanna really get a fast computer, then upgrade to a solid state drive and you will see a big difference in speed. And it's like the old days where we used to put chuck a bit of RAM into a machine and you'd see a big difference in speed boost. But today, solid state drives are totally different to mechanical drives. They are super fast. And uh, if you've got a bit more money to spend and your motherboard accepts it, then you can get the MSATA type drives and even the PCI Express uh, type uh, drives that slot into the PCI Express lane to make it super fast. Now obviously the higher up the food chain you go with these types of drives and the different type of drive you're purchasing uh, will determine how much they cost. So if you want a terabyte uh, solid state drive or a terabyte uh, MSATA type drive then you'll be ready to pay a lot of money for those types of drives because they're not cheap. So let's take a look at some of the speed differences. Now you can use uh, software to determine this and there's different types of software guys so I'm not reckon saying that this is the best software out there there's uh, there's Parkdale there's uh, a crystal uh, disk mark as well as you can see here this is Parkdale uh, which does a uh, testing of your drive speeds you've also got um, HD uh, tune pro which you can use which is got some limitations but it's got some other functionality to it as well okay so it just depends on how far you want to go with this I mean but you can use whatever software you like so what we're going to do is quickly set this up I'm going to just do uh, 500 here and uh, we'll set this up as a read write and you can see your drives here we've got a, a few different drives some of these are partitions and some are drives we've got uh, two solid state drives here and we've also uh, got the uh, a hybrid drive and we've got uh, flash drives and we've got a USB 3.0 drives and this will give you an idea of speed differences so let's first start off with the first one here and uh, we'll run a scan on this so we're going to do all of these and let this run and we'll see uh, what it comes up with so as you can see here we've sped this process up a little bit so here's the results uh, that it's showing for the Samsung Evo 840 uh, this is a solid state drive as you can see here and you've got your results here uh, you can save these if you wish and you can save them uh, anywhere you like so we're just going to save these on our desktop so let's take a look at results here as you can see we have our results you've got your sequential reads and your sequential writes and this gives you all your information that you need so let's try something different We'll try another type of drive. Uh, we can try the new Samsung uh, drive if you want to try that out. And I can tell you which ones they are by looking at the Parkdale. It gives you the name. So you can see this was the one we just done, the SSD 840 Evo. And if you wanted to do the, the new SSD, which is the uh, 850, uh, that does this one. Uh, this is the 850 Evo, and that's the H drive. So if we select H, and do that we can see the differences between the two and I'll let this run and I'll come back when this is being completed it will take some time to run all its tests so that's the uh, Samsung Evo 850 as you can see here and uh, I'll save these so you can see the differences between the Evo 840 and the 850 it's gonna save this copy to the desktop again we'll just name this one uh, Evo 850 so here we have the two results uh, for the two solid state drives with different um, years so the first one come out which was 840 and then a few years later the 850 come out and you can see here the speed differences so you've got a little bit more speed on the sequential reads a little bit more less speed uh, on the uh, rights um, but let's have a look at something a bit different let's take a look at a hybrid drive and uh, I can tell you which ones these are by looking at the Parkdale here and tell me the name so we can look at say the D drive and this is going to be a hybrid drive 
So we're going to take a look and uh, scan this and see what the results are for this type of drive. So here we have the results for the hybrid drive. Um, as you can see, a complete different story when it comes to uh, this type of drive. And I can show you the speed differences here. You can see we're in the 182, 165. And if I open this other one up here, you'll see the differences against this drive here. So let me just slide that across here. And you can see a solid state drive compared to a hybrid drive is a big difference. So let's take a look at a USB flash drive, an ultra USB flash drive, and also a USB 3.0 flash drive as well, and also a USB 3.0 My Passport drive to see what the differences are there. And I just want to find out what letter that is. So we can see here on this one here, we've got J, letter J, and that's an ultra drive. So let's do the uh, letter J and find out what the speed difference is, is there. I'll come back when this has been completed. So let's quickly take a look at uh, some prices at solid state drive so you can get an idea of what the prices are nowadays. If you're looking at, uh, say, the first one I showed you, the Samsung 840, uh, for a 120 gigabyte, you're talking £53. And then for a 250 gigabyte 850 uh, Evo, which is the newer model, is £72. So you can see the price differences here. And you can pick up a 500 gig uh, solid state uh, drive from Samsung 850 Evo for £114, which is pretty reasonable considering not long ago that these were in the hundreds of pounds. Um, but now they seem to have dropped right down to quite a reasonable price. And you can you don't have to buy a Samsung, you can buy other types of drives. Uh, but this is just one type of drive but i mean there is other types of drives out there with different speeds and uh, different generations which will give you different performances so if you're looking for different things like uh, pcie uh, type cards you can get these as well if your machine's compatible with these and also you've got the m.2 slot uh, type uh, ssd cards here which you can slot in as well and these prices have dropped down too they're 200 uh, 247 99 instead of 356 so you can see the differences in prices uh, still these are still pretty expensive compared to uh, the solid state drives um, but it's entirely up to you what uh, you go for but i mean different gens look out for the generation here you need to check when the mo uh, motherboard manufacturer to make sure what gen yours supports before you do purchase these because uh, depending on what gen yours supports that's the one you have to go for and then you can go from there okay so check with your manufacturers first. So here we have our speeds for our USB 3.0 uh, flash drive. It's ultra fast and uh, we can look at the speeds here. And you can see the speeds here all written down. So let's do a, a USB 2.0 and see what the difference is between these uh, speeds. I'm just going to go into here and select K which is our USB 2.0 flash drive and we'll do some speed differences on that and I think you'll see a difference between the 3.0 ultra fast and the 2.0 speeds of the older technology so we'll come back when this is complete so as you can see here this is still running but you can already tell that the speed differences between USB 3.0 flash drives compared to 127 here and 40 you can see sequential reads and writes here and you can see the difference on this type of drive very very slow and that's a USB 2.0 so you can see how technology's changed and things have got a lot faster so we probably can stop this we don't probably need to run this anymore um, so anyway does this mean this is the end for mechanical drives I don't think so I think mechanical drives will be around for a little bit more longer yet um, solid state drives are still very expensive if you're looking for large size drives, solid state drives, I mean terabyte drives, I mean they are very expensive still. Anyway I think we've worked this one out, I mean if you want to upgrade from a mechanical drive to a solid state drive that's a good way to start off. Uh, if you've got a little bit more money to chuck around and uh, money's no uh, object then by all means step your game plan up and go for something a lot more fast than a solid state drive like your M.2 uh, slot type of SSDs or even the PCIe Express uh, type uh, cards but obviously 
you better have a lot of money to spend because uh, obviously the more uh, size of storage and the more faster the card the, the more money you will pay uh, so that's entirely up to you i'm going to wrap this one up so i hope you enjoyed it my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you've uh, got any questions or anything like that about this topic or anything you can either hit them in the comment section below or head over to my forums and post over there and we can have a chat about it over there okay so anyway i'm going to wrap this one up thanks again for watching guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you want to keep up to date when i upload new videos as you know and also hit the like button if you uh, like the video if you didn't like it then hit the dislike it doesn't really matter anyway have a great weekend and i shall see you again very soon bye for now